Music is one of those subjects about which I am woefully ignorant. Like anyone else, I love a good song or a good album, but I'm not very educated about what good songs and good albums there are out there. So I decided in order to change that, I'm gonna start a music discovery project. How it's gonna work is I'm gonna choose a random musical act and I'm just gonna completely dive into their music for a couple of weeks. I'm just gonna check out their biography, their history. I'm gonna listen to all of their popular songs and try to listen to one or two of their albums. And then I'm gonna make a video telling you guys what I learned and whether I liked it and just my overall impression. And depending on the reception I get for these videos, I might do them pretty often, like every couple weeks maybe. And it's quite likely that I'll run into a few bands that I just plainly don't like, but I wanna emphasize that this is not me being a music critic. Uh, due to my ignorance of music, I would be the least qualified person to do that. And that's why I need your help. I'm hoping that you'll watch these and comment so you can help me further appreciate and understand these acts. Also, I need you guys to recommend bands for me to check out. And please only recommend uh, sort of established bands, uh, bands whose music would be pretty easy for me to find. For example, uh, don't recommend your friend's band unless you're good friends with Pete Townsend or something. I just feel like I should get a good musical background before I try to judge local bands. A good rule of thumb is if the band has a Wikipedia page, then it's probably good to go. What I want to do and what I hope you'll do too is to just completely drop all of the preconceptions of any certain genre or band that you may have heard. Like, I want us to just go in here objectively and try to figure out what we can learn about these bands and whether we should appreciate them or not. And this is mostly a project for me, but maybe you'll learn something too. So let's go ahead and start. Now, the first band that I chose was completely at random. It happened to be Deep Purple. And this tells you how ignorant of music I am because apparently they're pretty much legends of heavy metal and I'd never heard of them. I mean, I know the other heavy metal pioneers like Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath, but somehow Deep Purple eluded me. Now, I've heard their famous song, Smoke on the Water, and I think that's actually the first thing I ever learned how to play on the guitar, but somehow I never got to know what band that was connected to. And I think a problem I'm gonna run into a lot, especially with these bands that have been around for decades, is the consistent lineup changes, because a lot of people consider a band better or worse depending on who's actually in the band at a certain time. And Deep Purple is no different. They went through many roster changes, but most people seem to identify most with the second iteration when they added Ian Gillen as the lead singer. Now that motherfucker Ian Gillen can sing. Nowadays you kind of forget that there used to be a time where there's an actual standard for vocal ability in music. Now one of the first things I noticed about Deep Purple is how eclectic they are. They've got metal songs, blues songs, short songs, fast songs, slow songs, long songs. Like seriously, they have a song called Child in Time, which is about 10 minutes long. And I'm not saying it's like Grateful Dead jam band 10 minutes long. It's literally a 10 minute composition, but it's fucking amazing. Like I was sitting here in my room alone listening to Child in Time and I felt like I was hot. You get really lost into in the song, you know? I checked out Deep Purple's album In Rock, which contains the song Child in Time, and it's actually pretty good. With all the extended guitar, bass, organ, and even drum solos, it's kind of like a mini live concert in your head. Listening to this old stuff really makes you conscious of how much rock and roll has changed. Like today, a 10 minute long song with barely any vocals would probably not fly, at least in the mainstream. But maybe it would, and maybe we're just waiting for someone to have the balls to try it. All in all, I found Deep Purple to be pretty kick-ass. Unfortunately, I was born in a later era, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy their classics today. If you feel like you can expand more, if you know more about Deep Purple, or if you know other good albums that I should check out, definitely let me know in the comments. But that's it for this video. And as I said, I need you to recommend more bands and more musical acts for me to check out. It does not matter what genre. It could be metal, pop, hardcore, country. I don't care. Any genre, any band. It doesn't even have to be a band you like. Just someone that you'd like for me to check out. Till then, holla.